Dave. You didn't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do, you know, you know how to improvise, so it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Um, I think we are live now. It says, it, yeah, meeting is now streaming live on yeah. Facebook. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, as I say, we'll just take 10 minutes. Um, I'll take a word and then we'll just go for 10 minutes-ish uh, and um, and just have a play, see what happens. Roll the dice. Um <laughs> So while I'm just checking all my buttons, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's working. So do you want to just say oh. your name and uh, yeah. My name's, my name's Stu. I'm from Chester. Uh, we think I've been improvising for two years, but we don't really know. <laughs> and I, I started because I uh, wanted some confidence and uh, it seems to be working. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> awesome thanks Stu um yeah awesome so uh I'm just assuming that we're live on Facebook I think we are um and I'm gonna famous take... I've been waiting for the famous uh random word generator it's here I feel like I ought to name it yeah like, it's like it's like a little pet <laughs> <laughs> I'll think of a name for my random word generator, but here, here it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to press a button um, and then just see what we get. Oh, okay. The first word that I saw in this list is orbit. Oh. Orbit. Mm -hmm. So that's our word and I'll just get my timer on. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Orbit. It's uh, it's Professor Smythe, isn't it? Yes, yes, indeed, it is uh, Professor Smythe. And uh, yeah, are you uh, uh, are you Professor Gubbin? Yes, that's right. I know, uh, I know. Professor Gubbin from Oxford, and Professor Smythe from Cambridge. Um, I have to say, I, I, I'm delighted to uh, be invited here to the um, space conference. Well, we've um, we've uh, really got the cream of the crop here uh, yeah. from from the space industry. Yes. And your your name was was right at the top of the list when we um, when we wanted to do the invites. So uh, welcome, welcome. I, I'm a big fan of your work. Well, a big fan of yours. And it's funny, isn't it? Because we've both been orbiting each other for quite a while in our various fields of um, space expertise. And uh, I was delighted to accept your invitation to speak um, to the conference. Um, I, I just have a very small confession, though, Professor Smythe. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, go ahead. I get incredibly nervous about public speaking and I know that I'm uh, I think I'm due to speak in about in about five minutes <clears throat> but I am actually quite agitated before right. going on so I don't know if perhaps is there any techniques you, I mean, you're a consummate public speaker indeed indeed um yes there's a, there's one thing that I use and I pretend that I am in the void of space right. and there is absolutely no one there. You're not talking to anyone. There's no, there's no people, there's no animals, there's no trees. It's just a void and you are speaking into the void. Yes. And there's, there's, there's nothing to be afraid of because there's nothing there. Just a void. Just a void. How, have, how does that feel? I mean, it feels, I'm sort of like <clears throat> just regurgitating my breakfast that I had in the hotel. Ah. It's just making me feel a little bit. Oh, I, right. I, I, I totally understand. I understand the principle of what you're saying. Um, but the idea of the void and, of course, no oxygen or gravity. Um, it makes me feel a bit 
Right. I just, I'm terribly sorry. I, I, it's just I presumed you being a, a space expert that you would you would know and be quite used to the idea of there being mm -hmm. absolutely nothing there. And our lives and this planet is is just just insignificant. And I thought you'd you'd be completely au fait with that. <laughs> it's just Sorry, do you mind if I call you Derek? Um, Derek's fine, Jean. Yes, of course, Jean, Derek, please. D Derek, uh, I do understand the theory of space. As you know, we, we were both published professors and whatnot on the theory of space, but <clears throat> just doing that imaginative visualization uh, of our own insignificance, it's just making me feel very anxious, very, very anxious. Yeah, right. even more. It's pro probably a bad. Let me th think of something else that I I might be able to help. Um, mm -hmm. So if I, I view yourself as the sun, um, and yes. the the planets are orbiting around you, mm -hmm. but how many planets? There's only a, a dozen, and. They're all centered on you. They're all watching you. They're all counting on you to keep them in position around the sun. You have responsibility for the earth with billions of lives on there. You have responsibility for the moon that keeps going around the earth. And so it isn't pulled into the earth and crashes in and kills everyone. Jupiter and Venus. So these, these people are really listening to you, but there's not that... Mm. Sorry, that, are you? Would you like a sick bag? Oh, it's alright. I've just swallowed. Oh, uh, excellent. That's excellent. <clears throat> Derek, I have to say, I'm actually more petrified now than ever before. I mean, right. I, I mean, I, 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 as you know, I am an incredibly a well-renowned space scientist, as you are, um, but I can't expose my vulnerabilities so publicly. I just, I just right. can't. And and the whole idea of me be me, me personally being responsible for the planets not crashing into the sun and the Earth not vaporizing in an, in a millisecond. I, 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 I'm not sure I can take that responsibility, uh, Derek. Oh, it's right. Not, it's a lot. Yes. Okay. Well, um, um, well, we still have five minutes to come up with something. Um, mm -hmm. have, uh, uh, um, maybe, maybe if we do some breathing, um, pre pretend you're in a rocket. Uh, you're in the pod of the rocket. Mm -hmm. It's small and, and cramped. You've got your your space helmet on. The glass, your visor is steaming up because you're breathing very quickly. And now you have to control your breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're ignoring the fact that you have 400 tonnes of rocket fuel underneath your bottom. And you're just about to shoot off in there, but your breathing is bringing you back down to... No? No, is that not working either? It's just very... It's just the idea of a bar being sort of enclosed in, enclosed. in a so, capsule surrounded by rocket fuel being pivoted up into zero gravity and beyond the stratosphere. I just, the claustrophobia, uh, Derek, is just, right. whew, so many things could go wrong. I mean, me and you have written about how many things could possibly go wrong in space science, and it's a lot. Yes, that was probably a bad example again. Mm. Um, so mm. you don't like big open spaces. You don't like, like responsibility at the void. Yes, don't you like don't like responsibility. You don't like responsibility. And you don't like enclosed spaces. Mm. Right, okay. Um, is there anything you do like? I mean, um, is, about space, anything that, that, that makes you the stars and um, the um, uh, burning up on re-entry? I, I, is there anything Ooh. that 
not burning up on re-engine. Forget, I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that at all. Um, no. I, um, well, uh, I, I've got it. Yes. I, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. We could go to the conference bar and get you absolutely blammed. <gasps> well, a little bit of Dutch courage <sighs> might really I, I help. Was... I, I, you know, uh, yes. Uh, in fact, I actually, I actually do have a hip flask right here that I pre-prepped with a bit of whiskey. Uh, just one second. That I probably just this maybe it's uh, okay, okay. Um, who do you like? So how, I, I know I'll be speaking later, and I certainly don't want to be drunk. I want to be seen as professional, and and the, the outstanding professional that I, I, I. Oh, um, yes, I'll have a drink. Yes, uh, that's fine. I'll have I'll have one. Yes, it's quick quiz. Thanks, for, thanks very much. That's really helping. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, put hairs on your chest. Uh, that is really helping. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yep. So, um, you will uh. be, uh, right now, um, you'll be following um, the astronaut, um, mm -hmm. uh, Spandex um, Dangerfield, who <laughs> is very excellent. He's, he's lovely. He, he, is, he, he is, he is lovely. He's His beautiful. mind is, is a beautiful just, mind. Beautiful mind. A beautiful mind, and have to say, just between me and you, mm -hmm. not bad on the eyes as well. Uh, <laughs> He's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I could actually be stuck in a rocket with him <laughs> any day of the week. That's right. true. I, I, think, I think probably maybe you might have had enough of that whiskey. Um, I, I think maybe you could, you could just... Shall I get you some coffee? Coffee? Sure. Yeah. Let, let me just tell you something. Yeah. Of I think you're brilliant. I really do, Derek. I mean, I uh, some people call me difficult, and that's why I rarely get invited to speak at such conferences because, for some apparent reason, I have a really particular reputation about being a bit tricky to get on stage and I have no idea why people think that but people orbit around me and do not invite me to conferences and I have to say Derek thank you personally for inviting me to this conference and having faith in me that I can go out there and talk about space science. I, 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 um, I am absolutely delighted to see you here and your reputation. I, I, I know you've had your issues in the past mm -hmm. and you've fallen off the stage a number of times. Um, it wasn't my and, fault. It wasn't I, my fault. Uh, I think it was the fault of the drink, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I was told you got past that and indeed you you seem seem to seem to Does not it? quite past it but nearly past it like just you've just gone beyond it i think and it but the paper you did on uh, asteroids and asteroids. the use of vodka as a fuel to get the uh, satellites to the asteroid is, I, I must say, absolutely fascinating and fantastic. Is and, that? I, I, and, and, and when you tell people today all about the, 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 uh, your equations and the figures that you are going to... Jean? Jean? Oh, um, Jean. Jean, think, think. Coffee, right, okay. Um, oh, everyone's in the conference. Um, co coffee, anyone? Co See? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jim, that was so funny. You do drunk very well. 
<laughs> years of practice. I was kind of stressed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Stu, you're just so funny. You are so funny. <laughs> like honestly, you anything you could throw anything at you and you would just take it and you run with it and you go with it. And I I was really putting you on the spot as well because you the game, obviously, what a beautiful game that we found, like, which is everything you suggest is going to make me worse. <laughs> a great, great game. But I, I, I obviously was like feeling for you as well, because I'm like, I'm really putting a lot of pressure on you to come up with all the ideas here. So I hope that, well, I mean, you did it brilliantly, but. <laughs> well, I felt bad because, I know, uh, right. Oh, well, we're going to go down the route of drinking. Right, she's going to have to act drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, that's great, that was just great. Um, yeah, playing drunk is great, brilliant. The cool thing about playing drunk is that you just have to try your best to appear sober because that's what drunk people do. Like drunk people never want to appear drunk. They yeah. always, you know, they want to appear sober. So they <laughs> over enunciate and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but your suggestions are so good, Stu. So good. All that stuff about I was I was trained by the best. <laughs> oh, thanks. But you know, uh, you did it. You came up with all of that amazing stuff. I, I was just like inside. I was like, yeah. You like all that stuff about. I love those little things that you did, like um, you know, sitting in <laughs> in a rocket on tons of rocket fuel, rocket fuel in a small space with a steamy visor and I'm like yeah 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 <laughs> and what about you're responsible for everything and I'm like yeah yeah brilliant <laughs> your reactions are lovely so you just got further further and further away from the screen <laughs> until you're against the back wall yeah <laughs> and then when you get drunk you yeah, too. <laughs> but, and, and that's the other cool thing about Zoom, isn't it? Is that yeah. you can really play with all that um, space, proximity and everything. Um, I love that, like that drunk thing when, you know, when drunk people just stare at you. <laughs> they're, just stare, they're just staring because they can't really process what you're saying. <laughs> and all you can do is just talk at them. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, my gosh. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. It was oh. great fun. It's always great fun. Just whoever you uh, do a scene with, it just something comes up and you don't know where the nerf you're going to go. Yeah. And it's always yeah. funny or emotional or yeah. happy or. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's great always fun. a journey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it? Like how you don't like. You don't know how scene where scenes are going to go, and I think I think that's one of the things that I absolutely in, love to bits about improv is, and I think it took a while. Like I, when I was just learning, I was like, well, I'm still learning now, obviously, but you know when I was um, early days, and I was like, oh, if I just let go of not worrying about where this scene is going and just be in this moment as it is, and trust that we've got each other, uh, then you, you, it just ends up you know you can end up getting yeah. drunk you know what I mean it's like <laughs> you end or being moved you know it's so yeah. fun but when I when you first start out between sessions I'd walk across down the straight road I'd be in the shower and I'd be making up right. stuff thinking oh I'll take that I'll say that and then you get into the the workshop and it just goes all out the window so I've stopped that now I don't yeah. think anymore I just turn up yeah <laughs> 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 that's so cool just turn up yeah. oh my god that's like the coolest like strap line ever in it improv just turn up you know don't, don't worry just yeah it'll be all right it'll be all right it's that moment when um uh, you step into a scene and i hated it the first time you're doing it and you have nothing yeah and you just your mind's blank and you're looking at the pot and they've yeah. got nothing but now i absolutely love it i you come in and there's my mind is blank and I, where the 
what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing. So you're not freaked out by that. In fact, you positively enjoy that that feeling now yeah. of like stepping in and going, I have nothing. Um, okay. And it doesn't freak you out at all. No, it's weird. <laughs> Which is not me at all. And and <laughs> It's like, it's that moment when you step off a cliff and you haven't started falling yet. And it's like, oh, what have I done? Yeah. And then. And then you start. And then yeah. there's someone at the bottom with a big trampoline that bounces you back up. And then you can, yeah. <laughs> so you can't hurt yourself. <laughs> no. So it's just that, on the, you know, you've jumped and your heart's and you're yeah. just hovering there and then you fall. It's just that yeah. moment. <gasps> yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I often imagine that that's what it must that must be what it's like you know if you I don't know if you've ever parachute jumped I've never parachute jumped but I, I always imagine that exact moment where you're in the plane the plane door is open and you're strapped on and everything blah 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 but it's that it's that moment just before yeah. you fucking throw yourself out of a plane that is that it's it's that feeling at the, the top of scenes often as well, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah. what do I do? What's going to happen? But enjoy the ride. Yeah, you've stepped into the scene and you can't go back. <laughs> you've yeah. got to go forward. There's only one way to go, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I love that feeling. I don't yeah. know why, but I just absolutely love it. Yeah. I do you know. feel like, <laughs> do you think Zoom, um, Zoom Prof has enhanced that? sensation for you or made it easier for you to hold that space uh, i think so yeah because you i think because you're familiar you're in your own house you're in your own and you've got your own um stuff around you i suppose it has yeah mm -hmm. yeah um and uh just <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's just um it's just nuts it's just yeah. absolutely nuts yeah. Yeah. You said at the beginning about, about like how you feel um, like what led you to improv was uh, you came to one of my classes, my workshops in Chester. I think it probably was two years ago. And um, and you said it what you wanted it to sort of uh, uh, help confidence or. Um, and also you said off, off camera before you were talking about this is way out of your comfort zone and stuff. So yeah. like what um has it i mean in what ways do you think it has helped your confidence um just in i, I, I have meetings and you know I'm, i go into meetings and it's it's nothing now because everything's in front of me i've got you know i can talk and if some if it does go off piste i can go off piste with it um <laughs> small talk with people is easier yeah. um and just Generally, you just um, you just have to think back of what you did on Tuesday night, yeah. and you threw yourself into yeah. into a basically a room with people you don't really know, and 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 talked and presented about something that you had no idea yeah. or any expertise on. Yeah, and think, oh, I can do this. I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's That's just, so cool. Yeah. I, th I think um, I think that's just so cool and uh I feel also like uh, for me the biggest uh, one of the biggest influences that improv has had on me in life as well is like just that I, I I'm still working on it it's never going to be a finished product but um the yes and kind of um mindset so like if I am thrown into a situation or there's a curveball I'm talking about in life then I kind of remind myself it's like oh this is what's happening in the here and now and i'm just gonna yes and that and then I, so i've kind of got like that improvisers mindset like like the pandemic for example it's like it's been hard for so many people absolutely um but at the same time i keep coming back to this is just how it is i'm yesing it right now and that's all we can do um i don't know if that if that speaks to you as well do you feel like are you more like that about life generally yeah I, I, and i think um I, I, i'm pretty easy going anyway but it, <laughs> you know even when you're in the car and someone cuts you up yeah, <laughs> yeah. i think why it's, oh okay it's fine yeah. it's, uh, you've probably had a bad day if someone sat down and listened to you 
yeah. you'll probably tell them that you've, you're rushing to get somewhere to pick up your kids. So let, I don't need to get angry about that. Yeah. But and, and listening is the yeah. massive thing. And we none of us listen to each other enough. But. Pardon? No one is. <laughs> 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 yeah, I totally agree with that, the listening thing. Yeah, I, I'm sometimes like... Um, yeah, if I'm like chatting with, I don't know, friends or family or whatever, and I'm just like, I, I, I just, I just, I just sit there and go, okay, so it, I'm just going to be in support here. This is this, what this person needs is to be listened to. So then that's what I'll do. I'll just go, mm-hmm, okay, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll, yes, I'm the listening. Yeah. yeah. And getting out of your head. So when you're listening to someone talk, you don't have to, I, I, you, I used to, you know, oh, I, I have to, I'll have to come up with a question that's really good so they oh I'll have to make them laugh when I'm thinking about what I'm going to say instead of actually listening to what they're saying and reacting to that yeah so I think that's changed as well so yeah. it's this it's just it's great for life <laughs> it is isn't it? Yeah. I always say that improv is for life not just for improv yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I can see it in commercial situations as well like HR and um, team building and you know if you've got a creative team um, and you're brainstorming and there's so many applications and oh you just want some confidence yeah yeah and a giggle (laughs) pretend you're a space scientist (laughs) I I, I am I'm pretty much am now I am very much am a space scientist (laughs) yeah yeah, you do. You got a lot of permission to do. Uh, have you anything you want to be in, a, in an improv scene? Uh, yeah. Great. That was great fun. Um, so uh, is there anything else you would like to uh, to add just as we say goodbye? It's like, yeah, what would you say to someone who was thinking about doing an improv sesh? I, 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 well, just turn up. Just turn <laughs> up. <laughs> it's... it's... <laughs> yeah that's the hardest part once you're in it yeah it's, you just, you'll have such fun yeah you really will oh. yeah turn up turn up turn up they say that about writers as well don't they like there's a in, within writing um circles people that like the artist's way is like a really famous book for like um creativity but and she and the author says that as well she just says just turn up to the page every day just turn up to the page and it is, it's just that, isn't it? Just turn up. Yeah, and, um, You'll have, you will have a great time. Yeah, something will happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something always happens. Something always happens, yeah. yeah. Great, well, I love having you in in, uh, in classes and workshops and, and, and that scene right now was just a joy from beginning to point. end. <laughs> well, and, and yeah, um, thank you so Liverpool Improv and what you did is just, it's, it's really, really great and more people should get involved yeah that would so be good. Good. thank you it's been great um love that love playing with you and um thanks you and have a lovely okay. rest of the afternoon it's a beautiful yes, go. enjoy the sun enjoy the sun yeah <laughs> take care bye See you, bye